Hi, I'm Serge Su and welcome to Mac Studio 8. In this episode, how to add screensaver on desktop OS X Mavericks. I consider this video as a fun episode. Once you're done watching, I'm sure you'll have lots of fun playing around with adding your own screensaver to your desktop. I'll show three methods of adding a screensaver to your desktop background. Method 1. Just execute a long one-line command in Terminal. Method 2. Create an alias in Terminal to simplify retyping the long one-line Terminal command. And finally, Method 3. Using Automator to create an application that when executed adds a screensaver to the desktop. Don't worry, it might sound a bit complicated, but trust me, the three methods are quick and painless and lots of fun to do. So let's get started. First, the preparation. Select the screensaver that you wish to use by launching System Preferences and click on Desktop and Screensaver icon and choose a screensaver, but do not activate it. Next, just copy and paste the long one-line terminal command shown to set a screensaver on the desktop to a text file as we'll be using it in all three methods. I have included it in the description below. Now that's done, let's start with method 1. Simply launch terminal and type or copy and paste the one line command from the text file. After pressing carriage return, the screensaver chosen earlier is now on the desktop background and also works in the dashboard. Minimize terminal to continue playing the screensaver on the desktop. Closing terminal will stop the screensaver. Method 2. In terminal, create an alias that will replace the long one line command whenever you launch terminal to set the screensaver. Simply type the following in terminal to create an alias. nano space tilde forward slash period bash underscore profile. Now choose an alias name that will be typed in terminal to set the screensaver to the desktop. For the name I'll choose DT screensaver. Choose whatever you want for your command and type the following. Alias DT screensaver equals apostrophe then copy and paste the same terminal command used in method 1 and end with another apostrophe. Then press ctrl O to write the command followed by carriage return. Then ctrl X to exit. Now close and relaunch terminal and type the name of the alias just created which in my case is DT screensaver and after pressing return the screensaver is on the desktop background as before. Once again minimizing the terminal will Will keep a screensaver and closing terminal will end it. And finally, method 3 will not require having terminal open to keep the screensaver on the desktop. You can create an application using Automator to add a screensaver to the desktop. To do so, launch Automator, found in the other folder from Launchpad. Just press done on the pop-up window and click the Automator icon from the dock here. Search for run command script and drag and drop as shown here. Now all that's left to do is copy and paste the terminal command from the text file and save with whatever name you want. Now double clicking on the automated application file will have a screensaver on the desktop as before. To remove the screensaver from the desktop, just launch System Preferences and click on the desktop and screensaver icon, then click on the Never as shown. Alternatively, if you wanted the screensaver to start when you log in, simply launch System Preferences and click on the Users and Groups icon and drag and drop the Automator app created earlier to the Login Items window as shown. Now when you reboot and log in, the screensaver will start on the desktop background. And that's it, done like dinner. Thanks for watching and thumbs up if you like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the next episode. Thanks and peace.